Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget and this is my little basket full of yummies. These are little ornaments that I've created using some of the Dollar Tree items. This is some of their little um, jingas and their ornaments and I also use a little uh, embellishment that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's one of these and I picked it up at a dollar fifty because it was fifty percent off so these little ornaments actually ended up being less than a dollar is a scrap of fabric and some um, Dollar Tree twine and some wood beads and I think they came out really stinking cute I painted the, the little Jenga blocks of course um, I mixed red with a bit of burnt umber to get this kind of I didn't want it red red like I'm gonna I'm about to do this one is something I picked up from Hobby Lobby I don't like bright red so I just kind of changed the color around mixing red and the apple barrel burnt umber so I think they turned out really cute again these are little um, pieces that I picked up at Hobby Lobby at the 50% off for Christmas or packs of six I believe and I painted them added a little bit of um, Spectrum Nor Clear Glitter. This is some stuff that is awesome. And added some beads, a little bit of fabric, and I created that one. Oh, I forgot to put a little tag here. Again, here's another one. A little bow, a little reef. There you go. I added a Dollar Tree car. Again, these are less than a buck to make. Imagine all this goodies that you can make. And I kind of sprinkled them with a little bit of um, gesso, mix it in with a little bit of water, and did um, some splatters to make it look like snowy. So these are almost the same, or they are the same. This one I added a little Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby Snowflake. Comes in a pack like this. 50% off so I can't remember how much I paid but they came out really stinking adorable again more of the Hobby Lobby little sticker thingies and a Dollar Tree snowflake that I painted and they come unpainted and it comes with some trees and some little gift gift things like that and you can paint them up and kind of change them around a little bit added a little bling and a pearl in the center and yep that is that and this here um this is a hobby lobby ribbon but this little here was a tag that miss penny sent me and i mod podged it down applied some of the spectrum nor clear glitter and sprinkled a little bit of fairy dust from donna solisar and i think it came out really cute all right, this is um, <laughs> the other night I was messing around with some of the Chocotor stencils and where the O is on Joy, I added that little Hobby Lobby wreath. And here's more of that one. These are doors and I'll, they're all kind of the same, see? They're a little bit same. This one's one of the trees that come in the pack with the snowflakes. I don't like the green I didn't like the green so what I did is I painted some white gesso over the green sprinkled while it was wet sprinkled some of the twinkle dust actually and I got that effect now these I love the way they turned out now you could do these again these are less than two bucks Dollar Tree card Hobby Lobby ribbon this is a wood plaque from Hobby Lobby a pack of eight for $2.99 but use your 40% coupon so you get to do eight doors and that's exactly what I did and this is some um, the jumbo I'll grab one over here these are the jumbo popsicle sticks and you cut them into little two inch blocks I glue it I put some um, white chalk paint and some of this spectrum nor clear stuff I distressed it to make it look like it was really distressed and I created a beautiful little door
speckles and they all look different as we can see um, these are little um, greenery you can pick up at Hobby Lobby too with the 50% off make little reefs and that's what I did I made little reefs on all my little doors these are some picks I picked up from Hobby Lobby for 50 cents added a little bow changed the look of that right here's another one and I added one of those little embellishment stickers on the center so it's a little bit similar except I added the embellishment there Again, a car, but this time I put a little Rudolph um, embellishment, a flower, car. This one, again, I made a little wreath. I took one of the garlands from Joann's that I had purchased, a star that was gifted to me, wrapped the little garland around the wreath, and voila. Here's one of those little picks attached to a reef. And these were 50, 50 cents. They were a dollar originally. But after the 50% came out to be 50 cents. So I'm going to get some glue rubs in there. So each little door uniquely made. And I think they came out really stinking cute. Love the way they look. And. Of course, these are going to go in our tree because the kids wanted more of a traditional color. So, that is what I'm doing. More traditional colors for the tree. I have another little uh, ornament project that I wanted to work on, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll do that probably by the end of the week. It's coming coming come it's coming out great I like the way it looks just have one more little thing to put to it and then I will do the tutorial but I think I think that I should have it done hopefully by the end of this weekend but this little baby here are those little calendar blocks so it cost me five dollars it was originally ten I don't like that bright red so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna paint it I like the farm style look but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna keep this all year round. So what I'm gonna do is paint it black, give it a farm style kind of a look. And that way with the red and the black and the white kind of looks like farm style. And then I got this little heavy duty candlestick and I will glue it like that. So that way I can use it all year round, not just um, for Christmas, right? I just think it'll be a great thing to do. Anyway, that is my next upcoming project. Um, and I hope that you guys like my little ornaments. And I'll be seeing you guys probably. I know that Monday we have Bible journaling. And we've decided that we're going to do the Bible journaling Mondays and Wednesdays. Oh, sorry, Mondays and Fridays at 2, which is 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 1 Mountain, 12 Pacific Standard Time, Mondays and Fridays. And this coming Monday, we're going to be covering the birth of Jesus. So you'll have to come and check out what we have. And I'm super excited about this journey. There's a group on Facebook that we started. So um, there you'll get some of the, the drawings that I've made, like the little heart with the anchor. And I also made one. Um, I'll show you. Instead of talking about it, I'll show you. I like to draw my drawings. See, that is my little, um, this is the one we're going to use for our um, Luke, which is going to be Monday, the birth of Jesus. Let's see. No. This one is, um, I scanned them. So this is the one we're, we use for Mark 5, where she's touching Jesus' robe. So these are little goodies that I've drawn. And um, if you're a member of the group, you get to use them. And um, use them in your Bible journaling. So you'll have to check us out. We also have um, 
for those of you guys that want to be in the Bible journaling um, group, we're now um, starting a little series called Sisters in Christ, and we're going to get a t-shirt made so that those who are part of our little Bible journaling group and enjoys the Bible journaling group, they can purchase this t-shirt and I will get the information once the girl gives me the the price of the t-shirts and all that. So if you're interested in knowing more about the Bible journaling group, just send me a message, either myself or Miss Penny, Young Sue, Nina Saldovar, Saldovar, can never say her last name <laughs> anyway contact several of us and we'll get you some information get you started um, it's pretty easy pretty fun and it also helps you out with you know I'm learning I'm learning a lot Miss Penny knows um, she's been teaching me a lot and so it's kind of interesting how you get that bond with Jesus and the Lord and so I'm excited about this new series this new journey that we're all taking and um, starting the new year, we're going to, if it goes well, then we'll probably look at doing it Monday through Friday where we sit down, have coffee, and just go over a Bible verse and journal a little bit. I think it'll be interesting. So anyway, um, hope to see you guys um, if you're interested in that. So give me, um, send me a message, give me a a shout and let me know what you think and anyway guys I think I'm rambling on because I'm a little exhausted um, and I think this is where I need to say goodbye so don't forget to subscribe hit the like button if you like this video if you have any questions feel free to send me a message and I can't wait to see you in the next video till next time guys God bless bye bye